at the soft notes of Chopin's farewell waltz filled the hotel lounge bar. The pianist was my ex-wife, Susan. I was surprised to see her there. My heart raced so much that I thought others might hear it. But what surprised me more was the fact that Susan was playing the piano, and she was doing it well with so much emotion. What's going on? At your for a moment, I forgot about my work and was captivated by the music. Originally, I was just a bartender shaking cocktails at a local bar. I met Susan, a regular at the bar, and we got married, had a daughter, but eventually divorced. And this was Susan's misconception that I was cheating. She claimed there was a scent of women's perfume on my dress shirt, and it was the same scent every day. She believed this proved I cheated. Don't touch me with the same hands that touched another woman, she cried. I tried to explain that due to my job. It was bound to happen, but she wouldn't listen. I didn't want to separate, but she felt it was the only way to calm her heart. After that, I wanted to start fresh, so I quit that place and started working at a hotel lounge bar. That was nearly 30 years ago. This fall, the hotel decided to close. It, incidentally, its closure aligned with my retirement. When the hotel's closure was announced, with only a week left, the lounge bar stopped its usual operations and introduced a flat rate system for drinks. This idea was a hit, and we had a surge of guests every day. And now, on the final day of operation, it was my last shift. I wanted to give it my all. As soon as we opened, many familiar faces filled the lounge bar. Welcome, I greeted every guest. Thank you for coming today. Please, enjoy your time as long as you'd like. I greeted every guest with gratitude. Then I heard comments like, It's a shame this place is closing. I'll miss it. I remember courting my love interest here. Or oh, air manager, open up your place. I'll visit. Everyone reminisced about the good old days. That's sing as I was guiding guests to their seats and returning to the entrance. My daughter walked in. Hey, Dad, I'm here. Hey, she handed me a gift. Thanks for all your hard work over the years. This is about retirement today. I was thinking maybe I should be the one to celebrate, you know? Thanks. It means a lot. First make sure to display it somewhere before closing. Got it. For now, have a seat at the counter. Okay. When I brought up the divorce, I thought it would break our daughter's heart due to adult reasons and solely because of Susan's reasons. At the time, my daughter, despite being in first grade, seemed to understand a bit about divorce. When I was about to leave the house, she asked, Is Daddy going away somewhere? Aren't we going to see each other anymore? By doing my best to tell a kind lie, I replied, Daddy's work has gotten busy, so I ended up living alone in a place that's easy to commute to. It takes too long to get there from the house. I'm moving out, but we'll see each other once in a while. Hang in there, okay? At those words, I left the house. I'm not sure how long she believed that, but we've been meeting once, sometimes up to three times a month, and it continues to this day. As an adult, she even began to bring friends here to have a drink. She never asked about the reason for the divorce, never spoke ill of Susan, let alone me. I think she's a wonderful daughter. Well, I've got a busy day ahead. I can't spend all my time dirting on my daughter. This lounge bar was known for its live piano performances. 
Every day, there were five performances at 30-minute intervals from opening to closing. It was quite popular, and many of the pianists had been playing here for a long time. It seems that some of the pianists from the Pilpiest are here tonight. I went over to greet the group at their table. Good evening. Welcome. Thank you for tonight. This manager, we're going to miss you. I'll pump up the mood with the piano tonight. Thank you very much. As I was about to make a quick exit, I heard Hey, the girl who's playing now seems to have landed a recital with a sponsor. She was scouted after being seen performing here. Yeah, we've had a lot of influential folks from various industries here. Oh, if only I were ten years younger? Even if you were twenty years younger, it wouldn't happen. Excuse me. The pianists were laughing and joking amongst themselves. It's the woman who became the talk of the town had performed here before the current pianist. At that time, a guest who was here for drinks was so enchanted by her performance that he asked me to introduce him to her. I thought it was a lucky break for her, and it was after that introduction that her career started to take off. It reminds me again of the many encounters between people that have taken place here. Oh, by the way, manager, Today we're each going to play one of your favorite songs, okay? It's our way of showing appreciation to you, manager. It's perfect for today, isn't it? Everyone, you're too kind. Thank you. I'll listen with great attention, feeling as though I were about to receive a wonderful gift. And then I heard one of my favorite songs. Every new pianist who came to the lounge bar was always asked to play this song first. It's fascinating how different pianists have their unique take on a piece. Chopin's Faper While Waltz Back at the bar I used to work at, I'd request this song all the time on the radio. As a child, I grew to love it because my father, a classical music enthusiast, often played it. The girl playing now has a gentle touch that conveys a mutual, considerate pardon. Looks like I'll get to enjoy various renditions of the farewell waltz tonight. After 9 p.m., guests started pouring in. The turnover of guests was quick tonight. Most just wanted to say a word of thanks have a quick drink, and then leave. I made sure to greet every departing guest. Major, thanks for everything. Thank you for coming. While the guests probably wanted to chat more, they all left smoothly. Epsic in those simple exchanges, I could sense the many emotions and feelings, which was more than enough. Each guest must have their memories and connections to this lounge bar, I thought as I bowed. At tonight, it seems that only the veteran pianists and a few long-time guests from the bar's early days will stay till the end. Well, they're all having a good time on their own. Speaking of which, I bet my daughter plans to stay till the end. Looking over at the counter where she should have been, she wasn't there. Where did she go? Scanning the lounge bar, I saw her talking amongst the group of pianists. I decided to let my daughter be for a while, and then I went back to my usual work. A pair I was busy walking around the lounge bar, but when farewell waltzes played, I always took a moment to stop and listen. It was midnight, but the lounge bar was about to close. As I was about to inform everyone, the farewell waltz played again. I'd, I thought all the pianists had finished playing, and for running towards the piano, there she was. My ex-wife, Susan, was playing. I, I was in shock, and by the time I snapped out of it, 
the piano had gone silent. And Dad, hey, are you listening? I was brought back by my daughter's voice. How was Mom's piano performance? She practiced just for today. She did well, didn't she? Please give her some praise. I pleaded with the pianist to let her play at the end. Oh, um, I uttered, my voice almost inaudible as I gazed at Susan approaching me. Etsy, I hadn't seen her since our divorce, but she looked as beautiful as ever. So, you can play the piano. It was my first exclamation to Susan, with my voice tinged with surprise. I'm sure I could have chosen better words, but I had to voice my greatest surprise. I learned it. I wanted you to hear this song because it's the song you love so much. I see. You played it well? It felt more like a reunion than a farewell. It was a bit challenging to practice, but I'm so glad you liked it. Oh, and congrats on your retirement. Oh, I received a bouquet. Thank you for raising such a wonderful daughter. It was a long overdue conversation between the two of us. It felt a bit awkward, but it was as if we were back in the old days. Susan continued the conversation. I'd been full of regret ever since I realized that our divorce was based on my misunderstanding. I wanted to apologize to you. I recently heard about you, but I just couldn't muster the courage to see you. But when I heard about today, I thought this was my chance. I'm sorry, and I'm glad we got to meet again. With the... This, Susan gave a slight bow. Dad, Mom still loves you so much. My daughter interjected into our conversation. I blushed. Well, every time I tell her about you, she listens with such joy. And she hasn't dated anyone since you? Don't you think your retirement is a good opportunity? Maybe you two could get back together. I mean, you haven't remarried, and that shows you haven't forgotten about her yet. Susan and I exchanged glances. And for me, it was more than I could have hoped for. And it seems Susan wasn't entirely against the idea either. Are you sure? If you're okay with it. Everyone, everyone, I'd like to make an announcement. The manager here, my dad, is likely getting back together with his ex-wife, my mom. Cheers and applause erupted from all corners. That you've got to say something. Thank you for coming on this last day, and for your continued patronage over the years. The past 30 years have flown by. I hope you will cherish the memories you've made here. Lastly, I appreciate your understanding regarding my matters. It's the celebration for this place's last day somehow turned into a celebration for my fresh start. My daughter gave me a wink and I never expected such a surprise on the last day. My daughter has grown up to be quite thoughtful, 